Randy Jamie. Scott. Wait, rethink that no, one. Wait, wait a second. Did I say <laughs> that? Well, halfway through, it said Jay Harris. And I'm like, you're not Jay Harris. Not Jay Harris. <laughs> no. I, I'll, the joke's on you. I'll play Jamie, I guess. <laughs> Jamie, Jay. Jade McCarthy, Scott. Randy Scott, and uh, Zubin Mahenti with yeah, you. Yeah, there you go. See, that's what, that's what happens early in the morning. <laughs> That's, that's where we're going to go. Oh, it's our top hour. <laughs> here, Randy. Yeah. Top hour. Top that was our top. Memories here. Uh, we were asked to share our favorite one. Uh, we're going to skip Randy because yeah. we're not going to get a lot of good he's so positive. <laughs> he's just so positive. You have one? Yeah. When he tore his Achilles and shot those two free throws, yeah. like, in massive pain. Oh. Like, I burned my hand yesterday. I was like, oh, gosh. And he's, You're like, out. shooting. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm glad you continued that. Like, he tore his Achilles. Kevin? Yeah. <laughs> well, he to shot two free throws. Right. You, do you have one, Jade? I just always think about him taking on the Celtics. You know, I, like I think about Doc hiding the money in the Staples Center back in 2010 in the middle of the season, and we're going to get back there. And in the end, it's Kobe's Lakers that take the championship. I heard about all the stories. Of I like the perspective of the Grizzlies head coach last night. He said, "Well, we're 24 hours away." from a chance to be the answer on every Trivial Pursuit card for the next 75 years. For I don't sure. know if people still play Trivial Pursuit, but you don't want to be that kind of answer, right? Uh, for the Warriors, that means guests, not only at tonight's game, but also at yesterday's practice, Serena. Yeah, the Angels were in the Bay Area to play the A's last night, and during the day, Mike Trout, Albert Pujols, a few others, you know their names, stopped by Golden State. Against Steph Curry, what would you do? I want to do horse. horse? I do elephant. Just I, like, I try to stay on the floor, right? Just, just extend it for yeah. as long exactly. as possible. I want to see how many shots he can put up. Like, uh, maybe 75 feet out. Yeah. I'd be done after 50 feet. Yeah. I mean. Steph, open invitation. Come play elephant with us. Yes. yes. yes put exactly. some trash cans out here. We'll do some sort Snuffle of office. Up, we'll keep on. Rhinoceros. Let's just get all the names we can to extend it. That's tremendous. Extend the game. It'd be yeah. a short game. Let's look at the morning lineup as SportsCenter AM rolls on. Coming up 8 20. It yeah. is amazing when you think about that. They've had it so good with that good voice. Scully was calling Dodgers games eight years before they moved to Los Angeles. And from his start, really, the 21-year-old kid in Brooklyn, now Scully's set to retire after this season at age 88. I want more. No right. one can do it quite like Vin, right? Here he is in the Dodgers' home opener yesterday against the Diamondbacks, the last. Tell, yeah, they're like, tell him it's right here. It's like, These introductions are the hardest part of my day so uh, apparently. far. Apparently. But they're the best part of the show. Uh, <laughs> listen, full disclosure, for tonight, the Warriors going for 73. I grew up a Michael Jordan fan, right? At, you know, 72 wins. That team was in my wheelhouse. Right age, right time, right moment. I'm not ready for that record to go away. I'm just not ready for it. Firm. He is on the record saying that. Uh, you know, my favorite quote from all of the talk this season is Steve Kerr. I don't know who we is and who <laughs> they are, if the two teams played each other, there's no question that we could beat us, right? I mean, well said. Right down the middle. Well yes. said. Uh, here is more from the Warriors on their quest for 73. Mamba Day. Uh, Kevin, Randy, Jade, yep. back with you on Sports Center. Uh, Bruce Bowen just strolled into the studio. He, he's got some stories. Oh, yeah. yeah. Some stories. Some good battles against Kobe Bryant. We'll get to those in, in just a moment. Kobe going to hang it up. 20-year career going by the wayside. And one of his former teammates, Hall of Famer in his own right, mm -hmm. He's got a few stories. Yeah. yeah. A few stories. Just a couple. Shaquille O'Neal played a huge role in the early part of Kobe's career, and there was plenty of good, uh, some bad, a lot of ugly. A little bit. And he was on Mike and Mike earlier this morning, Shaq. We're open to anything, right? Uh, there you have it, just over a month ago, and now the Titans have six picks in the top 76. Uh, Welcome in, NFL insiders. Great to have you here with us. Ed Werder, Todd McShay, Mark Dominic, Jade McCarthy, Jalen Ramsey. He is going to join us coming up. But two weeks from tonight, it is the Los Angeles Rams on the clock to move up for that top pick, even though internally they are still split. That's a struggle for me a little bit, honestly, because I feel like at this point you probably should have a, a, a leader in the clubhouse if that's true, a, a true report that's going out there is that they're still like, well, we may take one or the other. We're just going to wait for two more weeks. And then that if Cleveland goes out of the pick, they're going to want sure. something similar for them to move from eight. I guess they're only going half as high up the board. Yeah. That's true. No, that's the big difference. I think the big difference is number one, when you look at the traditional point chart that you see in the National Football League a lot, this picks a football player, but to me that said, okay, there's more going on than behind the scenes. Not surprised on your report. Yeah, so they're trying to gain the intel as to who the Rams are going to take with that quarterback selection. The first overall to see if it's maybe the opposite guy is the one yeah, that they like. See and if then... Cleveland will make a deal. And exactly. Cleveland, Cleveland, I've talked to people there, they're really not surprised. Well, maybe I have a chance to still move back up from that 15 spot. Yeah. What's their ideal in terms of the way this shakes out? 
Well, yeah, I think they're fortunate in terms of where they sit right now because they've got, you know. San Francisco, maybe that could be a trade. San Francisco could use a left tackle. Philly could use a left tackle. So somewhere, I think all three go in the top ten, Tunsil, Ronnie Stanley, and Jack Conklin. But it could be where the three wind up in the, you know, the, the final four picks of the top ten versus what we thought could have been Tunsil as the number one overall. Sure. I would say this. One thing to keep an eye on is that John Robinson worked with Jason Light last year, obviously with Tampa Bay for mm-hmm. the last two years. They're good friends. And if Tampa doesn't like the yes. board, that's an easy spot for two good friends to make a move where Tampa just moves back down to 15, picks up a nice maybe second-round pick, and they get their and, tackle. And Tampa could be looking for a cornerback. 